A smartphone from this copy can be useful as a rudimentary teleophthalmology tool, for example, in an emergency department, at the bedside, or even outside the hospital, for example, in community screenings. You need a smartphone with a flash and a condenser lens. Likely a 20 diopter is available, but 28 diopter is fine. For software, the built-in camera app works perfectly in video recording mode. But if you want a more powerful app, Pro Camera and Filmic Pro have been used by eye health care providers with good reviews. Ideally, you want to do this in a dark room with a patient in a supine position. Well, there are many ways to, to do this, but uh, here's one way that uh, you can try. When examining the right eye, use your left hand to handle the lens. When you're examining the left eye, use the right hand to handle the lens. And then the first and second digits uh, can be used to grasp the lens. The third digit can be used to raise the patient's eyelid. And the fourth and fifth digits can be used to stabilize the lens against the patient's forehead. Again, you, you can do whatever way you're most comfortable with. Uh, for a 20 diopter, hold the lens about 5 centimeter away from the patient's cornea. The smartphone should be about 20 centimeters away from the lens. This is the starting position. You want to keep the smartphone and lens fixed with respect to each other in the XY plane along an imaginary axis. Now you can move the lens and camera system away from the patient until you have a clear aerial image of the retina. Having trouble getting a focused image, you can ask another person to help you by stabilizing the condenser lens to make sure your beam of light is focused and centered on the retina. Uh, one way to know for sure, the patient may report to you an entoptic phenomenon. That's when they likely would be seeing shadows or their retinal vessels. Uh, if the intensity of the light is too much for the patient, you can always use a bit of semi-transparent tape, put about three to four layers on, and it should make the, the light more tolerable for the patient. These LED flashes uh, are, are, are bright and uh, not easy to dial down. Like we normally use for indirect, the, uh, I, the, the fingers can help to hold the eyelids. And then uh, the patient can actually move, put your finger in front of you to help focus in better with the other eye. And then we bring the iPhone to the center and uh, currently it's recording. You see already the optic nerve right there. Uh, where he's looking with a finger that helps a lot to get focusing. And then we move the camera here, uh, that's the, the macula and the fovea. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. yeah, and this is the optic nerve. The optic nerve is nice and, and very well demonstrated right there. And again, the macula. Uh, this is the, the nasal retina and the temporal retina here. That, that's the macula again. And all what he is doing is holding the, the, the finger in front of him to help him focusing with the other eye. That helps a lot to maintain the, the view of the camera. And I'm trying to move the, the lens up and down to get different magnification, as you can see. I'm not moving the, the iPhone, I'm moving the lens uh, to get the perfect focus of, focus of, the, of, the, of the optic nerve. And look up to the ceiling. Now I'm, the patient is moving, you can see the retina blood vessels, and look to the right. Retina blood vessels, is nearly what you see here, then the retina is attached, and look to your left. You pass the optic nerve, look again at your finger, and immediately go back to the optic nerve right there, beautiful. A very nice, clear image of the nerve and the and the macula. Okay. So the final step is sending images of the video you just recorded. And sorry, Android users, this is an iPhone, so it, it's very iPhone biased, but uh, essentially we're, we're back into the app playing the video. And as you can see here, we're just scrolling to the, to the section where um, the, the image of interest uh, or you know different still frames of interest uh, can be selected, zoomed in, selected, and a screenshot can be taken. And uh, after that, you just repeat the pr procedure for each uh, uh, still frame of interest and save them all and, and send it off.